I would say Harry Cruz's childhood, um, Nabokov's Speak Memory, and Frank Conroy's Stop Time. It's interesting, they're all by men. I think those three in terms of just language and style. Well, I decided when I was about five, I decided I was gonna be a poet. And the type of writer I was gonna be changed over the years, but pretty much, um, it's just always what I said I was gonna be. I couldn't, I couldn't sort of stand to even think about anything. Having a normal job was always so hard for me. Things that other people could just do and kind of come home and take a shower and then have their night, I just made me want to just weep inconsolably. I was just a big baby. I, I just had to be around reading and writing all day. I just had to have it. I guess leaving home when I was 17. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, there wasn't a bookstore with, within 100 miles, and people who have the internet really don't understand how, for a writer, how really hard it was to get books. It was like trying to, you know, buy dope was easier. You know, you could cop LSD more easily than you could find a, a book by T.S. Eliot. So, um, uh, leaving home, I think, certainly. Uh, but obviously, when The Liars Club was a big New York Times bestseller, it was something I hadn't predicted or seen coming. I mean, I'd always been so broke, and I was a single mother, and suddenly I was able to hire childcare. I mean, it's, it's astonishing what happens to your life when you have somebody to pick up your kid after school. It's amazing. I'm really a get up in the morning and fall on it person. If I don't get up and start writing in the first 45 minutes of waking up, it's over. If I even meet somebody for 20 minutes for a cup of coffee, it kind of something, I have to go right from sleep. I, there's something about the solitude or the loneliness uh, of being a, by yourself that I, I have to bring to the page. And that's, I mean, if I'm editing or rewriting, I can do that, or working on journalism or something like that, or I can work on poems intermittently. But for a long piece of prose, I've really got to kind of get up and pound it out. Poetry privileges form and music, so I think it's a bigger aesthetic challenge or problem. You're always kind of trying to find a shape. And prose privileges information or data or story, storytelling. So um, obviously, you know, if you're, you know, working lyrically, I think form and language are more powerful and more chiseled out than they are in prose. Definitely it would be poetry. I think uh, the poetry is much closer to my heart. It was the first thing I loved. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have a nice apartment in New York, but, uh, but in some ways it's a, it's a much, um, it's harder in some ways and easier in others. So. I have a book of poems coming out next year, 2018, that uh, called Tropic of Squalor, and I'm working on a novel. So that's new for me. So I'm a freshman again.